Hey guys and welcome to Transport Fever 2 and my UK South map. Now I made this map in the uh, editor within the game. If you had a look at the um, my last video, you'd probably see it right at the end. Me uh, touching on this and having a look at the editor and how I made it. Um, it's got some undulation. So it's got a few hills here and there. To the south we've got uh, Bright in Portsmouth, the Eastbourne. Um, London, Croydon, yes. <laughs> High Wick and Y originally come from Oxford, which leads up to there, up to Birmingham, got Leicester, Norwich, Colchester. If your town's not in there, I do apologise. I was just looking at what map, what towns I could actually put on there. I, mean, I did play a UK map once where there's just too many towns and they all merged into one very quickly. We are going to try and play through this for the next couple of weeks and actually see uh, how it plays. There's also a bit of water, so we can uh, do some shipping down here, and hopefully we can do some shipping from around here, sort of London area, up to South End, up the side here. That's why I put this bit of water here on the map, and maybe round to here. And then we can have some sort of a uh, connection, maybe stagecoach, first of all, to uh, Doncaster, and maybe something similar to Nottingham. We're playing on medium level, by the way, it's 1850. Um, there's some other places with food and stuff, but uh, if you know transport, if you've uh, read anything about Transport Fever Two, it's not like Transport Fever that you can just feed anything into anything anymore. Each town requires two things, and this one is uh, construction material and goods. Another one, for instance, would be uh, this one would be fuel and goods. Now, actually, when you're building a map, you can choose if you want uh, what what goes where. And I have, uh, I have edited a few, but on others I just left them on auto. Um, yeah, so we get started. Let's actually make something. Um, I want to add a railway system in, but I don't know. Why, right. <laughs> ah, it's interesting. My, minus 38,000. Now that was the figure actually making this map. That's very interesting. So I didn't know that that figure would actually travel over. Oh, it does. So what do we actually have as a bank balance then? Wow. We're going to have to see how this works. Um, at the moment, we've got our actual sum is there. But if this doesn't work, then we're just going to have to pay uh, another map. We just have to see. So it does say the bank balance is here. So I don't know how that's going to actually work out. What happens as soon as I press play? It doesn't seem to be moving. Okay, so once again, that is the actual amount of money I spent. Because it does actually show an amount of money when you're actually on the editor, map editor. So that's quite interesting. Oh yeah, let's pause that. Um, I think we're going to start off with a very, very simple route between Portsmouth and Brighton. I think we shouldn't be silly. I think we should do state coaches. We're going to put a buildings and a truck depot near Brighton here somewhere, I think, because then we can use it for this and we can use it for up there when we want it at the moment as well. Now, once just like the other game, we can actually move it around. I've got the delete and the paste down for me because I'm left handed. But if you press shift, you can do it small amounts. And you can zoom in using your mouse. If you hold the mouse button in, you can actually go up and down. It's very, very similar to Transport Fever 1. Um, what I would like is right click and it gets rid of it. It doesn't. Press escape instead if you want to get rid of them. Uh, what do we want? We want a bus tram stop. Should we have three stations? We could. We could go all the way through, couldn't we? Let's do that, shall we? Now, this is interesting. This is, shows the different areas of the town. Look, this one wants food. This one wants uh, the fuel. And if you look above here, that's fuel and food. So at the moment, they're tiny. So you only really need, if you're, if you're trying to get those things into it, you need one in the middle. But uh, ultimately, you're probably going to have to have something a lot bigger. I think what we'd do, we'll put eight on, eight carriages, horse drawn, starts off. 
we want to go on to train script as possible. This is fairly, well, I say flat, but it's, it's flat enough. We can probably get something around the corner here in. Let's start making some money first. And we're trying to do some food and, um, and that quarry, as that was fairly simple to put in, then we'll try and do that as well. So we're going to lines, new line, and one, two, three. And we want to go back again, don't we? So we want to put it onto. Now, see what the mistake here? So if we get to there, and we're going to add um, this one. We click on here. You can add four, so it stays the right direction. Otherwise, it was turning around. I think it picked when I clicked on. I clicked on the top one, so it was turning around and turning around again. We don't want that to happen. Down here, it's pretty much the same as Principal Fever One. Load available. Load full any. Load full all. These are um, what to load. Really, it's just people, isn't it? Let's face it on here. Uh, these are the different types of um, transport you've got. And obviously we can rename the uh, line. But if you if we zoom out, the moment, just like Transport for 1, you can't actually see the names. But if you get rid of that, now you can. So we can click the edit and uh, Portsmouth to... Um, we're going to Eastbourne, aren't we? Eastbourne over there. Did I spell it right? No, of course I didn't. Maybe I should have... I'll add P for passenger. I'm probably going to forget that later on. So red's our initial colour. Now we're going to go to get some vehicles, buy vehicles, and we have all, we've only got two at the moment. We've got uh, one stagecoach and one horse-drawn carriage. So stagecoach, obviously. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then if we click here, we can set the line and there's only one line. So we click on there and they are set. We can actually now watch them uh, go out. So you can, just like the Air Transport Fever 1, you can actually look on board. But unlike Transport Fever 1, you can actually do this. You can move the, if you use your arrows or whatever the direction keys are on your keyboard, uh, what, well, W-A-S-D poss possibly for you guys, if you're right-handed, I'm using the arrow keys. You can actually move them about. And if I'm moving this, this about with my mouse key, my mouse, uh, oh, saving, yeah. You can actually go up and down. If you set a height key within the controls as well, you can do that. And I've set the angle key as well, but I think you can just do that with your middle mouse. So technically, if I went up a bit, we can make it look like we're actually riding rear him. There you go. See the horses. That's quite nice. I think that's a nice feature. It's a nice add-on. Now we probably should connect, so we could rename this to South London. And let's name that one North London. There you go. I think we we'll keep it simple like that. Um, we should have a a means of them actually getting. Oh, look at that! The problem with this is they're using their own transport. We don't want that. We want them using our transport. This is a good source for us to make money here. So passengers. Quite a big, but we're probably not enough. So let's say we're going to cross here. We take a right. If we put it in there. We 
we do get the most of it so far. We'll put one in there just because we can. I don't really mind them overlapping, if I'm honest. And also it helps with the routing. Okay, so we've got that. That's a nice simple. We'd just go one way. We'd, later on we can put them, double them and make them go two ways. But for now I think just one way is fine. New line. Oh, we should, we'll start from here. We go there. 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 Now, that was our next one, wasn't it? So we go there. I don't think we went any further. So there. And finally there. That pretty much picks up everything. Now, what we haven't got is a truck station at the moment. Now, where's the most useful place to put it? Maybe up here, because then we can go to put some other carriages up and down here. Always. That's a bear. Yep, that, that is a bear. I wasn't aware we actually had bears in uh, the UK. Other than in zoos. I was a private collector. Brought it uh, from the New World. <laughs> right, yes, okay. Bear's going to be very disappointed soon because we're going to build over everything. Right, let's get some vehicles, shall we? Now, we don't really have much of a choice, do we? One, two, three, four, five, six. Set line. Oh, we've got... St ah, still line one. Right, so let's go back into line. So we've set it. Uh, P for passenger. London commute. Is that right? Or is it commute? I think it's double over, isn't it? Let's keep it as that. I don't really mind. So I suppose we've got to try and make back that. Can we make that back by the end of this playthrough? That is interesting, isn't it? That the cost of the map is actually kept... We're going to press fast forward in a minute, but uh, now maybe we should actually set this one up. This is another easy one. I'd like to do trains, but I'm not sure. Actually, is this how? Yeah, I've put a hill there. I, I purposely put hills everywhere, if I'm honest, to make it difficult. I don't want too high hills because it's... This is a new game. I've still got to learn it. I don't want to play simple. I don't want to play easy mode. So medium is a good good way of doing it. But uh, let's be uh, honest here. Let's just, right. What we should do is build a road straight across. What is the cost of doing that? Should we should we find out? Streets, just a basic road. Where's the least amount of hill? You know, if we were to shovel up to there, that might be a good idea. Now, just like Transport Fever, I was messing around with this last night on easy mode. I got the key yesterday, and I am very, very thankful for having this key to the game. Thank you very much for giving me that. Anyway, so I was messing around yesterday, I was messing around on easy mode, and it, it, the feeling of this game is very, very similar. Transport Fever 1, and even Train Fever. There we go. Right. The way you play it is very, very similar as well. Buildings. And that's a bus tram. That is a truck station. Now... 
we're going to go as far out as possible. If we turn that around, so we want to make the journey as quick, as small as possible. There. Now this one, we can't really do that with. That's going to irritate me if that's not actually straight. If you've never played before, basically you want it to be that to go white whenever you've whenever you place these. That means it's in range. If it goes, since it's gone right, gone, it's uh, not in range anymore. You'll notice it starts off as grey, and as close you get, the more white it gets. It means the more in range it gets. It should still work as grey. It shouldn't be a massive issue. Now we just need a um, an unloading stop here because we're not actually loading at all. Now what are we? What are we actually loading? We are loading uh, these uh, they look like bricks, what are they? Either way, look, if we have a look, it's down this side. As I said with the bus stop earlier, it doesn't really matter this side, but later on we will have to keep an eye on this to make sure that uh, we are delivering to the right parts of the city. Right, so we will deliver from here to here to here and then back again. We'll just make it to one route. That's all we need. Now, um, where is a useful place for us putting this? We don't, these cost, what, 10 grand each. So we don't want to put too many of these in. Hmm, I have to be here. No. <laughs> I said take grand, but then it's uh It's because it's on the hill. Maybe I do I don't put it here. It's twenty twenty thousand here. Twenty two thousand over here. Thirty thousand here. It's because you're digging into a hill there, that's why. Nineteen, seventeen, eighteen. Well, it looks like it's going to be all the way over here. Is there any place flat? So if you don't place it next to a road or connect it on a road, it was. Oh yeah, it is there. Do you know for the because of the price? I think. Okay, should we start up another line? And uh, it's going to be there, to there, and then to there. And then go all the way back to there again. If we get rid of that, and it's going to be Leicester uh, Construction. Hmm. Did I spell that right? Yeah, that's close enough. Now we need to add some vehicles on. Now this time we're going to go to cargo. And at the moment we only have these. So that's what we use. And there we go, lesser con construction. Let's go on board. I think I'll put snow everywhere. It's mainly like rocks, but it looks like snow to me. I coloured all this, so...
Okay, it is time to go fast forward. Let's go back down to Bright and let's see how, is this line making actually any money now? Do you actually have people on it? 4-4, four, four. yes, we do have some people. What about you? 4-4. Four, four. This must be their first journey. Hopefully the running costs. Well, we've got some people at the bus stop here. Right, so, okay. We're in the we're in the black now, or the blue here. If we click down here, we can look at our finances, which, <laughs> as I say, that's a, that's a bit worrying when we look at this, really, isn't it? And that is all the map cost. <laughs> But there you go. This is the one we want to be looking at. We really want it to be going in the plus. Remember, we started with 5,000. That's a loan. What is that? 5 million. 5 million loan. Okay, well, look, it's in the black now, or the blue. Everything's road. So got tickets there. Maintenance. Now, maintenance is, is slightly different, actually. That's something we could look at. Um, if we click on... Where is it? Oh, I saw this yesterday. Maybe it's the vehicles we have to look on. Click on that one. Move that up a bit. So these are the vehicles. Actually, is it in there? Actually, that's line statistics, but no, it's not what I'm looking for. Ah, that's it. Okay. Down here, we've got statistics. It's the vehicle statistics. One year old, no problem. Very good condition, but they get older. Now, there used to be a way to automatically... Re uh, replace them after a certain amount of time, but that doesn't seem to be the case anymore. So if we go to configure vehicle, now what you can do is configure maintenance and that will do high is 25%, very high is 50% plus. I think it, what it means is they last longer rather than actually they get replaced, but I haven't played long enough to actually double check, to actually see that. Now the buttons up here, the rest of these buttons here, set line, sell vehicle, send it back to um, its... Uh, oh, I've lost the name. Where it starts off in the... Oh, did that just change around? Yes, it did. Duplicate it, replace. Now you can still replace it. So you go to replace and then you choose what you want, click replace and it tells you how much it's going to be for. There doesn't seem to be a way of automatically doing that any longer. Obviously, you can still change this colour as well, and that's the curve of the line and everything. Now, you guys are on your way back, which means you must have delivered already. Yes, so you're in the plus. What about you? Yes. Balance is 33. So yeah, we've made we've made some money from this one. I thought we would. And this honestly I'm I designed this line like that, so I actually made some money from. There are others, for instance, which are not designed to make money from. They're designed to be a bit more complicated. Um fuel. Uh which town needs fuel? South London needs fuel. So for there, the process would be getting from there, something from here to there. We're going backwards. Now, this requires oil. To make fuel requires oil. Again, I've kept that quite simple here. I figured those things, I don't mind them being close together, but then the oil itself is... I've placed it all the way up here. I've purposely done that. 
to make it really difficult to actually use it. It's going to seem, oh yes, you've got it's really simple because they're next to each other, but it really isn't. You've got to get it all the way from there to here. You could try ship, maybe that's not a bad idea, or you can try train. That's what we're going to be doing eventually. Oh well, I suppose for the beginning, that's horse and cart, but that's going to take a long old time. So that's one for later on. We could actually try another. Should we do another people one from here to here. I think we should do that. I think we keep this episode nice and simple. Make sure it's in range. Remember on this game, everyone drives on the right. Now, High Wycombe's actually in a valley, so I've made it in a valley. The only difference was there, would, there was originally a river down there, the River Wye. Um, High Wycombe, the wisdom, because they got a massive shopping centre, they just buried it. That was a long time ago, though. My mum still lives there. Um, what we could do is have it come around for these three and then back up again. Eventually, we want to put something up to Birmingham. Birmingham Leicester actually is not a bad one to do. Right, 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 right. right. No, that's vehicles, isn't it? I was wondering why they're so many. I was thinking, I haven't put that many lines in. All right, let's turn that down again. So obviously that goes up and down. You can't move these, by the way. Some of them you can, but ones with this you generally can't. So we go from there to there. Into there, into there, into there. Oh, you know what we haven't done? We didn't add two stops in, did we? We do that in a sec. Um, we have another one in a sec. Uh, so Oxford to London. P. Oxford. To London. Nice and simple. So we probably need to add some vehicles onto this, which we shall now do buy vehicles. Make sure we set to passenger. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Our money's gone down quite a bit. Oxford to London. Okay, let's get that other bus stop in. Now, so, it's going to be after number five. So we click on five, ready press the add station in. We've got to make sure we get the right one. We hadn't pressed it, but there you go. It's still going the right way, I think. Did I click on the wrong one? It seems to be working anyway. Okay, because we're building lots of things, we are losing money. But, on the positive, we're also making money. Last year wasn't too bad. We're still on this year. Uh, There's a lot less actually this year. That's good. Here's me, I wanted to end on a positive. But for this one, thank you very much for watching. Um, we will continue this next time. If you liked it, please press that like button. If you want to see more, please subscribe. And if you press that ding-dong bell button, it even tells you when I can put all stuff on. Yes, it does. Cheers, guys. See you next time. Bye-bye.